of my first full day in Milan, which I accidentally kind of slept through. It is 3 p.m. <laughs> Um, I had a really hard time going to sleep last night. I was just like having a lot of anxiety and worrying about really dumb things that now in the morning mean nothing. Well, the afternoon, I guess. So crazy, but so beautiful. I was just overthinking and super jet lagged and I hadn't slept in like 36 hours so I finally fell asleep it's also really loud outside and I have the window open because it just helps the air move a little bit in here so people were coming home really late it was a Saturday night and so everything was just echoing and I've lived abroad multiple times but I think with COVID I'm just adjusting a lot more than I normally would have to which I kind of didn't really think about. Like I just, last night I was like, why am I having so much anxiety? Why am I questioning everything? And it, I think it was just because it's been so long since I've done this because of COVID. Um, but I'm super excited to be back. So I woke up at like 1.30. Um, I heard a truck outside and I was like, why is someone coming home this late? Um, but it was 1.30 in the afternoon. So that was my bad. I got ready. And now I'm going to go to my favorite cafe called God Save the Food in the fashion district of Milan. I'm just going to work on emails. I've kind of been MIA for a few days because I've been traveling and packing. So hopefully work out in a little bit. I was going to run first, but when I woke up it was pouring rain. So I decided to flip my schedule. So I'm going to work, come back, work out. I also got my test shoot back from my shoot in New York last week, so I have to go through all of those and select the ones that I would like to have edited to be like the final images, but I'm super happy with the way they turned out, like so happy with them. But so I'm going to work on those at the coffee shop too, which kind of just feels a little bit unreal because last time I was in Milan, I wasn't modeling at all, I wasn't with my agency, and I would walk around and be like, oh, I would love to model here, but it's like so unrealistic. And since then... I've like gotten back into modeling, modeled in LA, modeled in New York, and now I'm here with like a very real chance of modeling here. So it's kind of like crazy, but um, super exciting. I'm not trying, I'm like not getting my hopes up, but I do think there's a decent chance, especially with those photos. They turned out really good and they're very like New York high fashion, which is what I needed. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. So my pants are by Glenn and Glenn. Um, they have like a cute little flare on them and then I'm wearing loafers. I really like them a lot so I'm trying to wear them as much as I can. It's very like Italian. Um, shirt is from Zara, necklace from Express, a leather jacket from Blink NYC, of course my black chain Vogue L bag. <laughs> Okay, I'm all ready to meet my manufacturer, so I'm wearing a white high collar, well off-white high collar top, um, it's a tank, and then a long blazer, my Joe's jeans, and loafers, so I'm wearing, this is obviously what I'm wearing, um, and then I'm bringing my green chain bag, I have pink crossbody there, and then I'm bringing my notebook, my iPad, and just my essentials so i'm gonna get a bottle of wine and then head to the metro to get to the train station and then i'll be on my way so i'll film some of that and i'll see him soon I 
manufacturer and his assistant picked me up from this bus stop, which was so cool because you could see the Alps from there. Um, but I did not film much of the meeting, not surprisingly, but we went over new designs for spring and new samples and what leather would work best for that, what colors. And then we went down into the showroom and looked at current samples and different options and edited a tiny bit of the holiday collection and then he drove me back after we had some pizza, of course, and it was the best day ever. to be here. Um, I'm trying to be discreet because I'm not used to vlogging in public, but oh my gosh, it's just the craziest feeling. Every time I see it again, it just blows me away. So it's kind of surreal. I'm finally in Milan. Just have my little bag here. These chain bags have never been photographed here, so that's super exciting. After being at the Duomo, I walked over to the big Starbucks roastery, and I already know what you're thinking. I don't typically seek out a Starbucks when I'm traveling, but I just really, really love this one. And so I finished up some work here, and then I went home.